I think I was, I don't know, probably 10 maybe, and I would watch my mother. She was the queen of decorating. Everything would come down in the spring and the whole summer look would go up and then she'd do the same thing in the fall. And I used to think she was crazy when I was a kid. I was like, oh no, here we go again. It's, you know, time to change the whole look of the house. I, I knew at a very early age when I would walk into a space and say, this space just doesn't feel right. This is all wrong. And many times we'd go in and rearrange it, you know, whether it's my friend's rooms or our own house. It drives my family crazy when we travel. You know, if we go in a hotel room and if it's set up all wrong or the lobby, they'll find me rearranging the furniture in a lobby and, you know, they want to crawl under the sofa instead of help me move it. But it's just, it's just who I am what, and how I'm wired, I guess. I can't ever remember not realizing that interior design was what was my passion. Having worked for designers I would say they had very, very distinct styles. And either you love that style or you don't. And again, people, that's why people um, hire them. They want that look. And it took me a long time to realize that, okay, that works for them. And they can sell and sell and sell their style and sell their look on other people. But it's not what I'm about. I'm not trying to sell who I am or what I am to our clients. I want to find out who they are and make something unique for them. Right now we've got a project in Sausalito, California, right on the coast, right overlooking a beautiful harbor, and it's all about the history of Northern California and San Francisco, and we're over in Bar Harbor, Maine, and we're doing a boutique hotel in Bar Harbor, Maine. In that case, we're trying to really understand what is it like to be in Maine in the summer? And I just recently had an experience going over to Portsmouth, New Hampshire, to the Wentworth, this beautiful old Victorian hotel that we've inserted a very contemporary restaurant into. Contemporary in a Victorian shell, I'd like to say. It's a beautiful blend of old and new. I love, I'm passionate about flowers, greenery, um, the world, uh, the natural environment that we're in. I mean, it, it and I think that um, it's it's an element that I try to bring into every interior that we that we have an opportunity to work on. And I, in Hotel Vermont, you'll see that in the ferns that are hanging in the sap buckets, and um, you'll see the front desk, the combination of natural ferns and flora. Not only are we paying close attention to the architecture and the materiality, and then how that carries into the furnishings, but then it's those touches, those green, soft touches that harken back to our environment. I think what happens in our office is we're all so passionate about what we do. That, I think, becomes a bit infectious with the clients. It's that passion that, that also, quite honestly, sets us apart, that we don't stop until we get it perfect. You can look at our website, you can look at our work and, and my work in particular, and you're never going to see two projects that look the same. Each project is very different and unique, but each project is, has timeless elements. We're always asking the question, what hasn't been done yet, or what isn't being done, and how can we do it different and better, but without being trendy. I would say it's about understanding how to make space functional, beautiful, comfortable, and the style that comes through, I hope, is that it's well thought out, timeless design, that when you walk in an interior, it just feels good. It feels great, better than good. It feels wonderful, and you can't really put your finger on why. It's not all about the objects that were picked. It's not a space of cool, funky, trendy objects. It's just, it just feels really wonderful to be there. And yes, there would be beautiful things to look at, beautiful artwork, and you'll be inspired by the materials that we used.
but it's the combination and how they go together. And I think that's, that's the common denominator in our work. <laughs>